Today we are out on GW Way in Richmond, a very busy intersection across from Winco grocery store. Got a few people giving us a uh, thumbs up and honking the horns at us. I've got a sign that says, Jesus is the Son of God. Now the reason that's important is because on the flip side, Muslims and Jews need Jesus. Now Muslims will tell you that they believe in Jesus, or Isa is how they pronounce it, but they don't want to have anything to do with the fact that he's the Son of God, so that's important. Now many Jews basically believe the same thing. They will believe that he was a prophet maybe, or a good guy, but they want nothing to do with the fact that he was Emmanuel, God in the flesh. Now, most of Jesus' early disciples were Jews. If you read the Bible, you can clearly see that. So it's not that all Jews reject Jesus. There are many Jews today that believe in Jesus and follow him. However, we have a conflict going on over in Israel right now with the war between Israel and Gaza. Actually, it's between Muslims and Israel, really, is what's behind it. Uh, Islam is a religion that contradicts most of what's in the Bible. They claim that Jesus is just an ordinary guy, that he was a prophet. They don't want to have anything to do with the Trinity or the deity of Christ or anything like that. So you have to understand that when you're talking to Muslims. So they'll say, oh, well, we believe in Jesus. Well, you know, the devil believes in Jesus, so that's not a big deal. And then if you redefine who Jesus is, like the Mormons and some of the other cults, you'll find that, uh, you know, the Mormons believe that Jesus is the Son of God, they will say, but they will believe that, they also believe that he is the spirit brother of Lucifer. Now, that's a big contradiction, see? So, people need to understand what the Bible says. Now, lots of Jews will actually avoid many of the scriptures that have to do with the deity of Christ. They will uh, believe the Torah, the first five books, but they don't often, they, they won't uh, have anything to do with the prophets or any of the prophetic books, even the Psalms, that clearly speak of the coming Jesus, like in Isaiah chapter 53. They don't want to read that in the synagogue because it's clearly talking about Jesus Christ. So these are some things that you have to understand when you're out talking to people of other faiths. Some people say, well, all, we all believe the same thing. Well, that's like going into a library and saying all these books are the same. That's pure nonsense. Muslims have their own book. The Mormons have their own books, plural. And the Jehovah's Witnesses, they have their own books. They even have a Bible that changes many of the passages of scripture that have to do with the deity of Christ, etc. So these are things you have to understand. So the question we have to ask ourselves today is, why do we need Joseph Smith, Muhammad, or any of the other people that started new religions, why do we need them if we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John.